Now, just moments ago, the president tweeted, quote, the European Union is coming to Washington tomorrow to negotiate a deal on trade. I have an idea for them. Both the U.S. and EU drop all tariffs, barriers, and subsidies that would finally be called free market and fair trade. Hope they do it. We are ready, but they won't. Ah, oh, negative, Nelly. Now, this is one of the president's more promising comments on trade. But until that happens, we're stuck with the threat of a trade war and the promise of more subsidies. Here to explain why that's bad for all of us, it's Fox Business Network's John Stossel. Welcome back. So good to see you. It's disgusting what's going on. Yeah. So put the tariffs up was bad enough, and now welfare for farmers. I voted against Democrats because they were spending us broke, but now Trump's spending us broke. Yeah, it starts with $12 billion, but, you know, what if other sectors? What if steel producers and those who require steel for various Lots components? of people are being hurt. Oh, we need a handout. Mm -hmm. We need a handout. And it, it's just Washington-directed economy. At least Trump does from time to time say the best of all worlds would be no tariffs. Let's all drop them. Yes. And look, we have to give him credit. It's possible that his talking about it and his being so horrible at imposing these tariffs will bring that about. It's just unlikely. Yeah, I, I really, I'm not optimistic, but it sure would be great if, if that is the ultimate end, that it turns out that China and the EU are so reliant on the U.S. economy and the fact that we have so many avid consumers in this country. You know, we love stuff. We love choices. We want more of it. And that means that we are the most beneficial trading partner. And, and hopefully they will. But you know why? And these tariffs are a tax on us. Yeah. And, and it's, it's not a tax on China. I'm what it is, but it's mostly a tax on all of us who buy anything. Yeah. And those who can't afford the tax, they're the ones now the leftists come in to save the day. Kamala Harris has her federal housing legislation that she wants to pass to subsidize people's rents. And that's also wrong, and it's also the exact same thing. What does that do to the economy when you've got various subsidies going out for housing and agriculture, not to mention uh, the various welfare programs? What makes our economy work, what made America grow into the most prosperous country on earth, was when we began, government was 1% of the economy. Mm -hmm. Prior to Trump, it was 40 percent. I don't know what it is now, but every time government interferes with the decisions of free people buying and selling stuff, it makes the economy work a little worse. And we need the growth because we're going broke because of Medicare and Social Security. And these tariffs just fight that growth. No, it's like trying to run a marathon in a latex bodysuit. You can't be you can't be un encumbered by material that doesn't allow your body to move. And that's what happens when you have federal programs and subsidies. It's like putting another layer of restricted clothing when uh, the muscles want to be naked. Or dragging a ball and chain. Yeah, exactly right. And try doing that for 26.2 miles. No. Nearly impossible. Uh, you look fantastic. Thank you. I just broke my jaw and I'm no, just recovering. Yeah. No fun. What what happened to us? I mean, did someone have a little Stossel Canadalia voodoo doll and like poke, 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 foot, 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 jaw, jaw, jaw? I'd like to blame somebody, Me but too. it's my own fault. <laughs> well, I blame the government. <laughs> Thanks, John. Great to see Thank you, you, as always.